What's up, gang? It's your girl, Daisy. As y'all can see, I'm by myself. I came to give y'all a video about why I decided to go to therapy. Yes, I decided to go to therapy for the first time. So 2019 was a very tough year for me mentally. I went through a lot of changes, like just financially, you know, not really being secure with, you know, what I really wanted to do and not really sure of myself. So that kind of like took a toll on me the beginning part of 2019. And then towards the end, a couple months ago, I ended up losing my grandma. You know, she passed away like three months ago. So that was hard too. And all of that just led up to me like, you know, being sad, feeling alone, and you know, just crying all the time. You know, I just didn't really know like what was legitly wrong with me. And that's okay, but it was just coming to a point where I was just always, always mad, always angry, just always having something negative to say, complaining about every every little thing. Like somebody could tell me the sky was blue, and I'll tell them and I will argue with them and be so mad about the sky being blue that I'll try to convince them that it's like red or purple or gray or something. So like... I knew, like, it was getting bad when I just start, like, picking arguments, like, with Diamond and just, like, just doing stuff that wasn't my normal and was totally out of my ordinary. Just, like, acting, acting out and just, like, kind of, like, lashing out. So, it was kind of tough for me, like, realizing that you feel me, like, you need help. Like, just, like, actually, like, realizing and coming to terms with the fact that you need some help just from extra people and stuff like that that was hard so when I decided that I wanted to actually go sit down and talk to a therapist it was like so like just like mind blowing like oh you really about to go do this like I was I was excited but I was nervous I was scared I just didn't know what to expect and like leading up to it I actually canceled two, two appointments that I had made before I even really went through with it. Like, I just didn't want to, I just did not want to feel like, oh, you know, something's wrong with me. I don't want to sit down and talk to somebody. They're not going to help me and stuff like that. But I had to let all of that go just so I could get the help and receive the help that I know that I know I needed to make myself better and just to make my surroundings better and just not to be down and in a dark place all the time so that was real tough for me so when I went to actually go sit down and talk to my therapist like the morning that I woke up to go I actually woke up in a good mood I woke up feeling good and everything like that I think when I got there that's when I actually start like getting nervous and just like not knowing what to say and not knowing what to talk about and you know feeling like she was gonna judge me or not knowing what she was gonna ask me about or and like kind of like not wanting not wanting to be I guess transparent with her and be truthful with her about some things but I knew I had to be to get get the help and get the healing that I know that I needed to be better so like it was like I don't know like I was so nervous I was just so nervous like my palms were sweating like I was sitting there with my arms closed you know kind of reserved and stuff like that and she was asking me she was asking me like simple questions about myself and just about my home life and you know my family and stuff like that so she could like kind of get a gist of where like where my thoughts were coming from, like my negative thoughts were coming from, and just like why I'm thinking those type of thoughts. So I didn't really feel comfortable talking, but that's just the type of person I am. I, I really don't like to. I don't really like to talk. I'm very shy. I'm very reserved. I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure why because when I do come out of my shell and you know I do start to talk and socialize and stuff like that I'm a real goofy person so it's just like mm, you know mm. but 
going forward, I feel like I will be going back to therapy and I will be, you know, utilizing my therapist as much as possible. Right now, I only go like once a week. I've only been one time though, but we talked about me going once a week, every week. So that should be fun. I feel like me and her, we're going to have a good time and she's going to help me out and get me together. She feels like I have, sorry guys, my camera died. But yeah, my therapist, she feels like I suffer from anxiety and depression. And I kind of felt like that too over the years. But I just wasn't sure. I didn't want to self-diagnose myself or anything like that. Going forward with that, I just want to kind of more so manage it and be able to control my emotions and just be able to let certain things just fall off of me and be able to let, let things go when they bother me it's just so I'm gonna be holding on to it and just carrying carrying the negative energy and carrying that negative weight. So I was glad we got down to the point of what is really going on with me and what I suffer from just so we could kind of pinpoint and figure out what it is that we need to do and the steps we need to take to help me get better. So I think the pros of therapy are just like you you can get a lot out without you know feeling judged or feeling like you by yourself because you got somebody that's willing to sit there and listen to you and let you get everything that you want to get out out and she's she or he whoever whoever your therapist is is there to help they're there to reinforce your negative thoughts they're there to reinforce your thinking to where you can get better and live a more positive and healthier life so I don't really feel like there are any cons to therapy. I feel like therapy is very much so recommended. I feel like everybody potentially needs therapy at one point in time in their life because we all get down and we all get feelings where we just don't know why we're feeling like it. So I just feel like therapy is a extra outlet and it's an extra way to just make yourself better and just make sure you are keeping your mental health healthy because that is the ultimate goal. I'm definitely going to continue this therapy journey for as long as I need to. I don't really know if I'm, I don't really have a timeline on when I feel like I'm going to stop going to therapy right now because there is no timeline, but I definitely won't be canceling any more appointments and I will make sure I'm going to have my therapy appointments just to make sure that I can get better and, you know, get back to being a more positive person and just giving more positivity out in the world than throwing out negativity out there. So, I just feel like, you know, if you guys got any stories about going to therapy or do you have any special therapists that you recommend, I want to hear y'all stories because... I was so nervous making this video. Like I say, you know, I haven't really, other than Diamond, I don't really talk to anybody about, you know, the mental mental health issues that I kind of struggled with this year. Like I said, I've never really had any, any of these issues outside of this year alone. So this was all new to me and it was just a whole different, whole different ballpark whole different feeling for me so I recommend anybody who is feeling down and you feel like you're in a dark place you by yourself you're alone I recommend you going to therapy or just at least reaching out to somebody and talking to them just so they could probably help you out just don't keep it to yourself do not bottle it in because it makes it so much worse and you're not gonna know what to do with all that bottled in emotion but to turn it into something negative and it could potentially turn into something that you don't want it to turn into so i like i said i recommend that everybody get the help they need for their mental health it is very important if you guys have not already go ahead and like this video up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already Comment down below your stories because I would love to hear them and make me feel so much better. And we love you guys. Thank you for watching.